If you combined all of the suburban yards in America and made them wildlife habitat, you'd be bigger than all the national parks combined. That most of our urban areas and suburban areas, about 80% of the plant material that's in the ground is not native. Only native plants support native insect populations, and only native insect populations support songbird populations. To give you a, a quick example, one brood of chickadees will eat about 6,000 caterpillars just to get out of the nest. Young birds need a tremendous amount of protein in your diet. Protein doesn't come from seeds or leaves. Protein comes from insects. And if you have a yard full of crepe myrtles, they only support about five different species of insects. That will help them survive, but it's not what makes them thrive. But if you have a yard full of white oak, red oak, and other oak species, you'll have over 600 species of insects using that tree. That provides just an enormous difference in the quality and the amount of food that birds have at their disposal. So that's why the native plants for birds is just critically important. Bird Friendly Native Plants of the Year was created by Audubon to remove some of the barriers for folks who want to make improvements to their landscape in a more ecologically friendly way. For a lot of people like me, this will be my first time having my very own backyard. Um, it's great to have people who are knowledgeable, who help put things to the side so you don't have to go in kind of with trepidation about what it is you're looking for, what you should buy. And then there are always people who are friendly, who know the area really well because they're uh, with local nursery, so they know what grows well here and can even give you tips uh, as you start to plant your garden. 2015 Bird Friendly List and 2016, 2017, which is also already available, was really developed with the input of nurserymen, uh, growers, retailers, um, plant experts, bird experts, trying to pick some species that have really good benefits for birds, provide a lot of things that gardeners and landscape architects are looking for, things like different heights, different colors, that kind of palette, if you will. To really make something that's beautiful, um, so you don't have to feel like you're lost, and just going outside of your regular roses or things that you might see, um, you can have things that are beautiful and having a list that promotes those things makes it really easy for people who are just getting into it to find and understand. You know, it's, it's only going to work if we actually do drive demand and get more growers growing and more gardeners buying. If we can do our part of that equation, then it really is a local program. It's local, local plants grown by local nurseries, provided to local retailers, being put in the ground by local landscape architects and landscape companies, um, and, and really making a difference for birds and people across a broader landscape. It's really, really, I think, a wonderful thing to be able to have a welcome home symbol in a garden of native plants that sell birds, butterflies, other pollinators, that this is where you should be, this is where you belong. The best thing is just to get started. This is a great time of year. Kind of make a plan, find your local retailer, tell them why you're there, you're growing native plants for birds, um, and sign up. We've got an e-news bulletin that folks can stay in touch with what we're doing. Well, I'm excited to be out in my garden, and next time I go to the nursery, I'm going to be looking for this tag to make sure that I am supporting bird-friendly native plants. So sign up for our email list to find out more about bird-friendly native plants and where to buy them.